Alright guys, so we're gonna be watching the ReZero um actually I'm in theater mode. So ReZero season two trailer uh that came out earlier today. I actually like I didn't watch it, but I saw that it was released around like really early this morning, probably around eight my time. Um I was up that early. I actually had an hour of sleep. I slept from like like six to six forty five. Probably so. It's a four, I had forty five minutes of sleep, but anyways, so and I, I knew this was coming. Like they were doing like a live stream, live stream. I didn't know a trailer was coming, but I assumed I was like, yeah, they're probably gonna release another trailer because it's like really close. So and then I saw like on a poster that it's gonna be coming out July eighth. So fucking excited. Do you guys know what day of the week that is? Um, maybe I could check this down here. I'm not sure. Um. June, June, Wednesday. Oh, it's gonna be coming out on Wednesdays. Uh, so Tower of God, twelve, thirteen. So like two weeks after Tower of God ends. Interesting. Okay, cool. Anyways, so I'm pumped. I'm excited about this, and yeah, let's let's fucking. Oh, I'm so hyped. Oh, I'm so hyped. Okay, right, let me make sure everything's a okay. Everything's working. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh god, I'm so f I'm so fucking excited. Oh god, I'm so fucking excited. Okay, ready guys? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay. Okay. Here we go. 1 2 3 go. What are you doing, Super? I heard the, like intro plays in this or like the music. Ooh, is that Sato? Bitch. Oh, I got it. I got it. Is it that girl with the white hair? Oh fuck. I think I know who she is because you guys told me my comments when I was reacting to ReZero. Oh my gosh! Ekida. Greed. Call you a witch of greed? So she's greed? Would it be better to call you a witch of greed? Him? Bitch, probably yourself. So I get. Oh, I remember that after credit scene, like, Rem, like, no one knew who she was. So is that why she wasn't on the poster? I noticed she wasn't on the poster. Remember all those dead bodies from the other trailer? Oh, fuck. Back? Who the fuck is that? Another maid? Oh! Oh, that cat girl. Or, or no, that one. No, that wasn't. That was that one girl. Pet, Petra or something. Who the fuck is that? All these new characters. Dude, who is that dude? She doesn't seem to like him. See. Where's the bad guy? Okay. Do they work for that girl greed, that witch of greed or whatever? Again, I know she was saying that to him, but I feel like she's probably actually a witch of greed. Mm. And Rem's in the fucking bed. Ooh. Why is he bandaged up? Ooh! That guy kind of looked like the same face as that one person that made costume. Fuck, dude. I need to, like, click through this. I... Hang on. Dude! I love the way she looks. Oh, I'll make this big. Um, because I noticed last time Attack on Titan, it was lagging when I had it full screen, but not when I had it in theater mode. But anyways. Holy shit. This is sick, bro. This is sick. Look at, look at, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Don't worry, I'll like record this afterwards and I'll make it bigger. I'll put it like over that. Uh, anyways, so. 
Let me go back. Let me go back. I want to see what this bitch said to him. I see, she says. The root of your desire is quite interesting. What, what? The root of his desire, I would assume, is wanting to love someone and be loved, be loved back by Amelia, and also, like, his loved ones to be happy. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, she's, I want to read what she said to him again. Oh, I'm quite surprised. Okay. Psycho. You slaughtered all these people. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you had nothing. Maybe you had your lackeys do it. It's been so long since I talked to someone, I think I'm losing my mind. Where have you been? Where have you been? Why haven't you talked to someone? Ooh, dude, I love it. Look, ah, I love the way she looks. She looks so cool. Holy shit, I can't wait to react to this. Oh my god. My name is Ek- I gotta write her fucking name down. Oh my gosh. Nah. I'm assuming Witch of Greed. I don't know why I had gluttony in my mind. Like, I thought she was gonna be, like, gluttony or something. Because I feel like that's what people were saying. But I now I don't believe that. I don't know what the fuck to believe. Um, because she says, would it be better to call you a witch of greed? Why are you, like, like, she's saying that to him? Is that, is that how I'm supposed to take that? Or is someone saying that to her? I gotta listen to it, hang on. She says it to him. Why are you saying that to him? Bitch, that should be said to you. How is he, how is he greedy? Because he has all these people in his life that he loves, and it's greedy for him to think that he deserves all that? Is that what you're trying to say? Like, what? Bitch, what are you trying to say, bitch? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. Let's click, keep clicking. Oh, what is that? The, the whale? Okay, they're coming back. She's sitting there. But if you guys watch the director's cut... Spoiler alert, if you watch... I already said it. I fucked up, but... In the director's cut of ReZero, season 1... There's an after credit scene where like nobody knows who Rem is. Like he Amelia, Amelia goes, Who's Rem? To Subaru. So ow. Fuck. Hit my ankle on my chair. So it's kinda like, oh shit, how did people forget her? When did that happen? Was it the fog? I like I mean I know she fought the whale. She I don't know if she got caught up in the fog, but he didn't forget her. So it's like he's unaffected by that fog or something. Like it doesn't make him forget anyone. Even if everyone else forgot her. He's over here shaking her, like, wake up, wake up. Where did you find her? She's in a field somewhere. I don't know what's going on there, but they found her. I mean, at this point, I'm assuming Amelia doesn't know who the fuck Rem is still. Okay, this, this, oh, shit, too far, too far. This girl, and then you see the guy later in the trailer. What is this, 126? I'll write it down so I can go back and compare. Like, that smile they have looks the same, so I don't know if this motherfucker has a sister or is she in shapeshift. That smile, okay, I gotta find that guy. Oh, shit, wait. I feel like it was toward the end. Yeah, there's the maid again. Somewhere right here. Oh. Right there. Anyways, okay, I'm still gonna try to find. Right here. Like, green eyes, same mouth, they both had green eyes. Can you shapeshift or do you have a sister? I don't know what's going on there, but one of the two. Um, okay, well, let's go back to where I was. All this. Beatrice, what are you doing? You're pointing at him. Mm, what, are you, what are you saying to him? I don't remember his name. Was it like Oliver, Ali, Oswald, or... I can't remember. So it was an O, but whatever. Okay, Petra, the, the little girl. She's working as a maid now in the castle. Cool. These, well, I wonder what they're talking about. Maybe more stuff to do with the election? Perhaps? Where she came from? I have no fucking clue. It's like some type of tunnel thing. I don't know if she came from. Is it actually? Let me see. Mm, maybe it's like one of these things. You see how it looks? Maybe she's walking out. And she doesn't like this guy with the white hair. I don't know who he is. 
Or like what he's from, hang on. Ooh, I love his character design though. Like, I don't see anyone else around. So I don't know if he was, like, threatening Subaru, because, like, I know she'd get really upset if he went after anyone she cared about, like, her sister, maybe. Maybe he's the reason people don't remember her. I, I don't know. But I'm assuming, since he's being introduced as the same season as that one girl who I don't know, I'm going to assume she's a Witch of Greed right now. Um, Because if she's saying that Subaru's greedy... You know how Betta Lagiz was always calling people slothful? Well, she's calling him greedy, like, and he was the Archbishop of Sloth, always saying, well, you're slothful, you're slothful. Well, maybe it's the same thing. Like, she's greedy, so she knows what greed is, and she's gonna always, like, call people out for being greedy, because I, I know what greed is. I'm either the witch of... She said witch of greed. Should I call you a witch of greed? So, I'm... It's like she's projecting, so I think she's actually that witch. <sighs> We know it's not Satsula. I would see it when I first watched the trailer. I was assuming, oh, maybe that's Satsula, but I think that was one like before I finished ReZero season one. So, um, now like going back, like when I you know was watching it and going back and watching it again and remembering your comments, you guys were pretty like adamant about the fact that Emilia is like a, an exact like replica, like they're doppelgangers or twins because Amelia is an elf and she could be really old so see I took notes on this actually I don't know where I put them but I took some notes on that on snow things to mention in code yes where's my shit about things to mention in ReZero but um but yeah so maybe um what was I saying maybe um that guy is working for what's her face Satala. Not Satala, how do I say that? This witch of. What's her name? Ekida? Or Ekinda? Ek. Ekidna? I don't know how to say that. Dude, where is it? I don't. I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh, you know what? This is the wrong notebook. Fuck. Let me go grab the other one. I'll be right back. I ripped it out. I remembered. Okay. So, things to discuss here. Because I might forget to discuss them in ReZero. So, in Snow, if you haven't seen it, don't listen to me, but. It's all flashback stuff. So, Amelia's fate is bringing... This is what things that are mentioned. So, Amelia's fate is bringing about the end of the world, according to that big monster thing, you know? That that fire thing they were fighting. Um, so, her fate is, to, is bringing about the end of the world. Countless crisis, bringing back the witch, all according to Malakura, fire spirit. So, I'm wondering, is she Satsula's twin? You know how her body is the exact same? So, like, she was going to... Like, she kind of, like, alludes to the fact that she was going to use Amelia's body as, like, a vessel. Because her body is, like, separated from her soul. Like, she can't get to her body and can't move it or something. Or maybe she's trapped in her body, but her body is sealed. I don't know. Something like that. I don't remember. So, if she can, like, transfer her spirit. I think that's what that whole ceremony was about that they were trying to do at the end of season one. But they stopped. You know, if she could get into Amelia's body, she could just start wreaking havoc all over the world. Right? So, Amelia... Was half elf also, also Melakura calls her a half demon. Does that mean she's half elf and half demon? Because he calls her like people always say she's half elf, half elf, half elf. Okay, what's the other half? Am I supposed to assume it's human? Maybe we're wrong to assume it's humans, her other half. Maybe it's something else, or maybe he's just calling her half demon because you know, Satala when Satsala is going to, like, inhabit her body, she is going to be, yeah, half-elf, but she's always, she's going to be, like, half a demon at that point, because Satsala is kind of like a fucking demon, just her, like, her freaking soul is just so trash, I'm just, this is the way they're portraying her, I don't know, I don't read the light novels and manga and shit, anyways, um, so I said, is she a half-elf, half-human, they never specify, so she could be half-elf, half-demon, or half-something else, something else, I'm speaking way too fast, okay, other shit, how long has she been alive? Who froze the whole forest? Who froze all the elves? Why did Amelia wake up from the frozen state, but none of the other elves did? Did Puck wake her up, or was it because of the unknown other half of her blood? So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if she's the only one who woke up, is it because this other half of her blood made it so that she could wake up? 
like there's something special about her blood or did puck wake her up um how long have her and puck known each other i don't know why this is relevant why does he love her so much that's the thing like they keep he keeps saying he loves her he loves her he loves her and like they had all these memories together right but she like i think when she was frozen and woke up she forgot him and she forgot all these memories i think she gets flashes and shit so it's like how do you know her? Why are you so attached to her? Like, what's what's the relationship there? Like, yes, father daughter, I get it, like that bond. But like, what what happened in all those previous years? Like, like I said, is Satula actually her sister? Like her twin sister? And that's why they would be so compatible. And like, she doesn't remember any of that and shit. I don't know. Um. They said if Puck gets too close, he will forget all of his memories, feelings, etc. Like, if he gets too close to Amelia. Like, if someone keeps talking to him, like, don't get too close to her. You're not supposed to interfere. You're just supposed to observe. You're just supposed to watch. So, I don't know. I just... I have all these questions about a lot of the shit that was said. How it's going to relate to this season, I don't know. But, I'm starting to have a theory that those two are probably twins. Because she's old as fuck. And, like, she doesn't even know how old she is because... Like, she lost her memories, so it's like, mm, I don't know, she could be thousands of years old. I mean, I don't know how old Satsula is, I don't remember if they tell you that or not, but, um, yeah. So anyways, this guy, let's continue. Um, we got this other motherfucker jumping around, I don't know what the fuck he is, or what he does. She's fighting, like, two people at once, that's nuts. They keep showing her a lot in this trailer, though, like, is this season gonna- I thought you guys said last season, like, according to the light novels and stuff, it's gonna be really, like, Amelia-heavy. Like, it's gonna be her season, development on her character, but... With Rem, I'm seeing a lot of her in this trailer, I'm wondering if maybe it, I'm gonna see more of her than I initially thought I would, because I thought I was gonna probably barely see her in this season. But they're putting a lot of emphasis on her. So, I don't know if a lot of this is gonna be about remembering who she- like, getting people to remember her. Um... I, trying to kill the people who maybe did that to her or maybe these people are trying to kill Subaru or I don't know why they're trying to like kill him and his friends I mean he's crying I don't know what the fuck why is he crying that purple he's holding on to something oh she's hugging him okay well and then I think Rem's in the bed right yeah like what happened where did you find her why did did something happen to them on the way home because they were transporting that whale carcass i think so maybe like they got attacked and like some fog got released and people forgot who she was i don't fucking know something like that she sacrificed herself to save them from attackers maybe that's what happened on the way home that's what they're showing us like the the carriages got attacked i mean i think crutch was with them so yeah, maybe that's what happened. They got attacked on the way back, and these people ended up erasing her from existence somehow because I think greed, or was it gluttony, whale of gluttony or something like that, would control the whales, or I don't know, they're beast. Oh my god, I almost called them beast stars. What are they called? Beast, beastmen? No. Ma beasts? Ma beasts. That's what it was. Um, I don't really know who controls them. I thought it was Satala. Then there's all this shit about gluttony they kept saying, like, whale of gluttony. I don't know. That's just kind of confusing. But I thought she killed, like, all the other sins. So I don't know how this per this girl, the one with the white hair, this witch, would be alive. I, I don't know. Um, but whatever. Anyways. So, maybe unless she's an archbishop of greed. Or, yeah, greed. But anyway, so they got attacked. She, she somehow erased. Don't know how that quite happened, but we're gonna find out probably um and then i guess spending the rest of the season trying to get people to remember her uh, undoing what those people did or the white guy with the white hair and the one with the brown hair and that one maid with the yellow hair the blonde hair and like the fucking teeth kind of creepy oh man what are they looking at ram over here uh, I don't know what his, this face is about. I don't know what's going on with these two. Maybe there's going to be development in their relationship. This guy about to punch Subaru for some reason. I don't know if Subaru, like, hit on his sister or some shit. And this girl, what are you even saying to him? Let me see. They don't say it. That's it. That's the end of it. Nothing else. Yep, just credits. Sucks. Man, I want to know more. 
Ooh, I want to know more. No, well, whatever. So, yeah. I'm assuming all this season is going to be spent, like, trying to figure out what happened to Rem and how. And, um, probably, like, if I'm going to believe what you guys said last time I reacted to season one, a lot of Amelia, um, character development and background. Although we got a lot of that background in that OVA, so I don't know if maybe they did that instead of, like, I don't know, like, doing that as an OVA instead of, like, incorporating all that into the season, maybe, so that they could spend more of that time on other things. I don't know. But, yeah, anyways, remember to like, oh, wait, do I have to do that? Yeah, I guess I should. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so check that out if you guys want to. I almost stuttered so bad. Um, anything else? I'm so hyped to react to this. Oh, let's discuss a little bit. Let me think out loud here for a minute. I think, you know what? Let me do this. Just so you guys have something to look at. Like, I'll put something on the screen. What's something interesting to look at? Who knows? Maybe this. Let's look at a, a body on the ground. This girl, the focus of the season. Problem. I don't know if she is, but... Anyways, so scheduling. So, we're gonna be finishing up Tower of God. I still gotta finish up Seven Deadly Sins, Code Geass, and Death Note. Um, so, once I finish Tower of God, ReZero will be taking its place, and then, uh, once I finish Seven Daily Sins, I'm not gonna replace that with another, uh, Patreon-only show, because I just, I, I wanna, I'd rather do, like, three shows at a time, because I wanna be able to get them out faster for you guys. Um, so then, at that point, we'll be doing Code Geass, Death Note, and ReZero, and then once I finish Code Geass... I'll probably post, um, another poll, and I might, but I think you guys voted for, um, well, I don't, I don't remember, actually, did I make a poll? I don't know, but I think it's probably between, like, Hunter x Hunter and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, although I know Hunter x Hunter is really wrong, but we'll get through it. Um, like, with that show, I'd probably try doing, like, two episodes at a time, so, yeah. Um... That is it, I think. So that that that's the game plan for now. Of course, things change, but as of right now, that's where my head's at. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction. Ooh, I'm so hyped for this. I'm so excited. July eighth, less than a month away, baby. Woo. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Have a good day.